episode 61 of Boruto was crazy. Let me sit up for this. I'm sorry. Let me sit up for this. Episode 61 of Boruto was incredible. Okay. I haven't felt like this in a long, long time watching an anime episode ever. Okay. Like the last time I felt the way I felt today was... I think on the Shippuden ending, when Naruto and Sasuke were fighting, right? There was a lot of action that was crazy. Like, the animation, the art style, everything was just aesthetically pleasing, right? They did that same thing here on this episode. Everything was just presented so well. The production quality went up. Like, if you guys see last week's episode, and then you see this week's episode, you can clearly see the jumping quality. The fight with Shinki... Sarada and Boruto felt like this giant boss battle, okay? Uh, obviously, Boruto and Sarada kind of team up against Shinki, and this man just felt like a super huge boss battle, okay? That when he uses his full power, you can tell this man means business. And I, I gotta tell you guys, every time they put Shinki on the on the screen, and he had like this electromagnetic field, by the way, in, in the show, in the episode, and every time they had like a close-up shot of him using his iron sand, it was like, whoa, like the animation was crazy. And and I don't know, man, I just don't can't find the words to say how good it is. All I can do is tell you guys over and over again that it, it was such a huge jump in quality from what I'm used to seeing from Boruto. And th there was one bit at the end of the episode, there was like a dramatic bit at the end of the episode, uh, obviously... Boruto wins against Chinky by cheating. Uh, that's the whole point of the ninja tool being there, right? And Naruto figures out, okay, Boruto's cheating because in the last attack that Boruto does, he uses purple lightning. And as we know uh, so far, Kakashi is the only person that actually does that jutsu in the leaf village, right? So it was kind of weird for Boruto to be using that. And Naruto automatically just didn't feel good about it. He felt suspicious. And he confronted Boruto, and it happened a little bit just like the movie. Like, that's the, like, there was a little bit, a little piece there that was just like the movie where, you know, Naruto takes off his headband and tells him, hey, we'll talk later. All of that goes down. But what they added was this really sad part where everybody, like, like everybody in the stage just felt disappointed in Boruto, called him a fraud. And then his peers, right, like Chikadai, Chikadai asked Boruto, Tell me you didn't use that in our fight. And the face that Chikadai had on him just hits you. It's very emotional because it hits you. Because you can understand why he has that face. You can understand the emotion that's you know being presented in, in the actual scene. Because if you guys remember, man, Chikadai is probably one of Boruto's best friends. Like in the academy, they were literally best friends. They were they would hang out with each other a lot. So for Chikadai to find out that Boruto cheated against him on a fight that was supposed to be two friends, you know, fair and square, it really hit home, man. Like, the, the emotional part of the episode, which was the last bit of the episode, it didn't take a long time or anything like that. But holy shit, man, they presented that so, so well. And I don't think we're going to be seeing, you know, episodes like that often. But holy fuck, what a marvel. What a marvel. What an absolute marvel this episode was. And I know I'm sucking off the episode a lot, but Jesus, man. Uh, just to just to finish it off here, next week we're going to be getting uh, Momoshiki and Kinshiki. They actually get into the village at the very end of the episode. They get to the Tuning It Sam's and they interrupt it. So don't expect to see anything Tuning It Sam related after this, after this week's episode, uh, because it's going to go into what would be the climax of the Boruto movie with uh, Momoshiki fighting Boruto and the, the other Kages. And I'm very excited to see the actual beginning of the manga animated. Because if you guys remember, they did do, uh, they redid the way Momoshiki kind of lost in the manga because they had to kind of, you know, do that in order to talk about the seal that Boruto ends up having in his hand, the Karma seal. And I'm super excited for what's coming next in Boruto, man. Again, the staff that was in charge of this week's episode, they need a raise. All right? Yo, please, leave me, tell me in the comments what you guys felt about the episode. Because I'm still super excited. I'm going to rewatch the shit. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it, man. I'm out, guys. Peace.